if, if I recall correctly, uh, Brain Candy was sort of written and produced at a time when we were splitting up. Rancor in the group was perhaps you know bubbling toward its highest. Very nice, very nicely put. Yes, well, Dave and I, who are the best friends of the troupe, and we are again, we, we, like, we were like a couple. We split up during that movie. We split up, and uh, we weren't talking to each other, and like Dave quit the troupe. Only he quit the troupe after he signed the contract, so he had to do the movie. Uh, and you can sort of see every comic choice that he makes in the movie is anger. <laughs> every comic choice. And also, you can see I, I wrote a lot of the movie, um, and it's, uh, sub uh, of course I would say that, and uh, it's subconscious, it's not conscious, but you can see all the scenes that I wrote with Dave in, the four of us are in the forefront, and he's way in the back. <laughs> And he's saying, hey! And he's yelling, and we say, who are you? Like, there's like four or five scenes where Dave's way in the back and not with us. And um, it's interesting that I, I, it wasn't consciously, uh, I wasn't consciously writing that, but I did write that. So he wasn't just phoning it in, he was obscene phone calling it in. He was obscene phone calling it in. He was a very, you know, the movie, what the movie lacks is uh, Dave's writing in it, because uh, the, the, what Dave brings to the, the group writing-wise, and also then he would have had more performing to do. Like, he sort of plays just three or four small parts that are straight men. And uh, we were, the Brain Candy really missed uh, his contribution for sure. Now, as you said, uh, you and Dave are sort of, you've, you've reconciled, you're back Yes, together. we reconciled right after the movie. I was, uh, hold your question. I was, uh, I just said, hold your question! I was, uh, I was in Los Angeles. I hadn't moved there yet, but I was there uh, renting an apartment. And Dave had moved there. He was doing the TV show News Radio. And um, uh, I, was, uh, I was in a bath. Uh, and then he called me, and, uh, and we hadn't talked to each other for months. And he said, I, I hear you're just staying a few weeks down. Do you want uh, a few blocks down? Do you want to come to my house tonight and watch the, the playoffs, the NHL playoffs are on, like there are now? Do you want to come down and see the, the Leafs game? And I said, sure. And then I found out later, do you have a question? <laughs> and, and then I found out later, he was in the bath too, so we made up naked and wet. <laughs> naked and wet, enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Is it possible to, to maintain the, the, the kind of career and, and do the kind of work that you've done Regardless of where you are these days, because you can do everything electronically, digitally, and, and sort of, you know, or, or do you actually have to, when you, when you get gigs, do you have to fly in and out of L.A. or fly in and out of Toronto? Uh, yes and no would be the answer to that question. Uh, yes, like I'm, uh, I, I, like I'm writing a lot here, and, and, uh, and no, I have to fly to L.A. to, um, I'm going to start going there like once a month, I think, just to like make sure they remember me and, and, uh, and get back and doing TV shows and movies. But I'm writing a lot, and, and, uh, but, then, but also there's a no again, because I'm also touring a lot. But there's a yes again, because the, my next project is, uh, it's yes, no, yes, no, and yes. Uh, my next project is I'm, I'm writing a movie uh, called The Last Winter in Winnipeg that, uh, that I'm going to like direct for the first time and be in and it's um, it's a totally imaginative movie about a, a, a famous comic who moves to Winnipeg because he falls in love with a dancer wow that could never happen that could never happen it's like my Wizard of Oz it's wild where do I get my ideas I, it's because you said famous comic I'm sorry, why, minor celebrity comics. <laughs> minor celebrity co Famous is the imaginative part, yes. After everything we, we've said about, you know, the difficulty of making great movie comedies, uh, animation, which is, you know, a world that, that you spend a lot of time in, animation is... Uh, Too much! Sorry. sorry, go on. It's, it, it is kind of like, you know, the second golden age of animation these days because of yeah. everything that's possible digitally. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I agree, and I have nothing else to add to that, so I'm going to keep talking to pretend that I am adding to that, but really I'm just repeating what you're saying, that that's a good idea, and I'm going to keep talking for a few more seconds to make it seem like I uh, know what I'm talking about, but basically I'm just talking about the fact that I'm talking. <laughs>